So today, what uh, I got an interesting day ahead of me today. Kind of another um, non Hoagies Garage project related video, but at the same time, of some interest. See, one of my best friends, he has in his garage a mid to late 70s Z28 Camaro. And it's not just any Camaro, it's the Camaro that his dad was building uh, when he died. Now, without going into too much detail, without getting too sentimental, um, we were in fifth grade when this happened, and my friend's dad just, you know, out of the blue, passed away. Um, and behind him, you know, when he passed on, was two Camaros. He was basically taking a um, rusted out, used Z28, like, you know, 77, 79, in that range. I don't know the exact year. And he was making one good one out of, like, two donor cars, including that one. Um, he got as far as, you know, stripping one body down. It was, like, two-thirds primer. He was, like, a body guy, so he knew all that stuff, how to do it. Uh, he also had the engine built, transmission built, and put that in the car. So with all that, um, you know, kind of just being left in limbo, you know, my friend and I are about the same age or so. You know, he's kind of like, I guess we'll say at that point where the Camaro is, you know, taking up room in his garage. He wants to figure out what to do. Um, even me, even him, we're both not capable of, uh, you know, taking on that project of completing. I mean, it's when I say it was like, it's more than I would ever do personally. I mean, it was nothing's in the interior, wiring's gone, you know, it's just like so much work. But the goal is for him to take out that engine, that transmission that was, you know, specced by his dad, built, you know, with his dad's wallet, that sort of stuff, and do something with it. Whether it's put it in an old, another Camaro that's already, you know, driving, whether it's to buy a, you know, an old Monte Carlo and drop it into there. Uh, that's to be seen, but today I'm going over there to help him out um, because I've just done so many engine pulls in the past month here, more than I've done in the past three years. We're going to take my engine lift over there, pull the engine out, and just sort of see what's what. Oh, yeah. Watching me shove that thing in there. <laughs> so whoever designed the Equinox, I don't know if they had an engine lift in mind, but it fits. I gotta show this side. It's so crazy. Does it ever blow your mind, like, do you think of the year these bolts were put in to hold this engine in? Like, what year? <laughs> like, 1990... What year did your dad die? What year was that? 93. So, I mean, around then? 92, 93, uh, probably? 94, yeah. So, was, yeah, it could have been one of those three years. Now, tell me this. Does this weird you out, too? Because this is, like, goes through my brain when I do this. I feel like I need to give you the wrenches to take these bolts out <laughs> because the last person to put those bolts in it's true. is your dad and I almost like don't want to be the one to undo them. <laughs> like it's like it's and then I'm not even kidding when I was doing the Impala stuff like still it goes through my head I'm like say like I get in a car accident and die next week like it's going to be the same situation somebody's not going to know that like oh I drained oil out of the engine or like you know like <laughs> Like that stuff, like what, I, there, there has to be like one thing your dad did that like, he like, you know, he's the only one that knows yeah. that like he did, like this bolt down here wasn't tightened all the way or something, you know, yeah. he's like, I gotta get to that, you know, it's so weird. All right, so what I think we can do is we'll get to, did, did you ever look at transmission? So we have to get that right, like unbolt it somehow. Oh, yeah, no, I don't. Okay, that's all right. We'll do that, and then um, let's, we'll get the engine stand out, and I'll put that together if you want to figure that out. No, I wasn't. 
wasn't. I was I just turned out. All right. Um, so like we're mid engine pull. Had to remove the engine mount like holders, like the things that go around the the frame, transmission mount, and now it should come out. But I wanted to show this is a breaker bar in Ryan's toolbox here. <laughs> like you know, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Like that's just so awesome though. Like that's almost like frameable. <laughs> like you put it in like one of those glass and it's just floating like i just hope whatever project that was it got done it wasn't like you had to give up because it bent or was it bent to get into a space like your dad like <laughs> heated it up and like you know like manhandled it and yeah. then it just got around something that's so awesome All right, so here it is. It is out. And what did, year did you think this was? 93? 92? 92, 93. So it's been in this car since 1992. It's never been started. But what's crazy, though, is this is now, according to your receipts, it's like a fully, like, bl blueprinted, like, built engine. Yeah. Now, 1992, 93 standards, I mean, I'd say this is like a... <laughs> say hi, Shane. <laughs> this is like probably like, I don't know, I'm going to guess like in the 300 horse range, which was for the time a lot considering the Corvette had like right around that much. So, I mean, you were, but it's kind of like that move though, and I'm curious what everybody online is going to say about this. What do we do to get this running? I mean, I've got some ideas in my head, but like, I don't know. It's been sitting that long. Obviously, I think we need to take it apart, look inside, make sure everything is kosher, but... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So next move is we got to get it on an engine stand. I don't think this stand is going to make it. So Ryan has to do that. And if you're somebody that is looking for Z28 Camaro parts, there just might be some on eBay soon. You never know. It depends. Body panels, everything. It's because the whole car, It's you're not keeping this, right? No. The car is going to be gone for sure. Yeah, so really, I'm plugging this for you. If you think about it, we might I, we might just sell parts thanks, like thanks. already. Um, but like Z28 interior fascias, this was this was uh, the the whole thing, and that car is full of parts. So if, if you know somebody with a '70s Z28 that's restoring, send them this link. Share this link with them and tell them we have like the best barn find ever here. Compared to the Impala, that was a complete dream. Um, the front end of the car was gone. I mean that, so when he told me, when I knew that was like the plan, I knew that, you know, there wasn't much in the way other than the normal old bolts. It just pulled straight out. And so now it's kind of that point where, like I said, uh, when we were sitting there BS and he's got so many good Z28 Camaro parts sitting there. And that car is like, you know, before it was way down here, it slowly worked its way up. The Bandit Trans Am, obviously, was more desirable it still kind of is but that camaro to me is like the next gen of like that either resto mod or even just full restoration that's going to happen here they they didn't really last a lot of them rusted away just like the one that uh he got a lot of the donor parts for the one you saw there that was the one that he was that was going to be the one the roller the good one and um, it was like 10 years ago, my friend and I scrapped the one that was rusted out because he, he literally had two of them sitting there forever since, you know, we were in fifth grade. So it's really crazy. We even got to that point where it was just like, I, you, you wonder, like, what did your dad do last? What did he leave off on? You know, what was the, the last step that, you know, he was on before he passed away? So I guess the, the big thing is... Uh, I've never done this before, so maybe if you have any experience in this, I'd be curious. That engine was built, done, you know, in 1992, 93. It hasn't turned over, even spun the crankshaft since then. What would you do if you were in that situation? Like, what, you know, just kind of like tell us your thoughts. I'd love to get some opinions on, you know, would you start it right up? Would you tear it down, redo? I mean, it's just, it's a weird, weird situation. Um, so yeah, it's, it was kind of crazy though, just thinking like those bolts hadn't been turned since his dad put them in there. I thought that was just to me kind of like, you know, I don't know, sort of sentimental, if that makes sense. But lots of cool parts he has, so he's going to start, you know, eBaying some stuff. Basically whatever he sells and doesn't need, that's going to kind of go towards the next car. So 
Um, you know, not my garage related, but we did start off in my garage, use the engine lift that pulled the engine out of the Impala here. Um, so yeah, kind of cool just to, you know, do that today and help him out with uh, the engine. So he's got to put it on a stand just like my engine over here and start screwing with it. It's weird. My friend and I both are going to have in V8 engines, 350s on engine stands. So thanks for watching. Um, I've got more on the Impala coming soon here. I'm going to actually climb in there tonight and uh, see if I can get those engine mounts out. And... Um, yeah, still shooting for that September drive date though. So, and if you haven't subscribed yet, you um, you know don't know about our subscriber contest. We're still looking to get a thousand subscribers. I got a box of prizes I'm mailing out. Find that video, leave a comment on it, and uh, you could possibly win. So, thanks for watching.